I have got two of the absolute best dump dinners. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tamara. Today's video is super fun. It is the last cookbook collab for 2022. I cannot believe that this year is over. That is crazy. So if you are new here, I have been hosting this cookbook collab for the past two years. So this is our last one for the year. I have cooked from this cookbook several times throughout the year. So I will make sure to have the videos a link down below for you guys. And this cookbook is linked in my Amazon storefront. I absolutely love this cookbook. Um, it is so easy and I love this cookbook because it uses a lot of convenience foods. That way you can get dinner on the table pretty quick and they are really super easy and flavorful recipes. I love this cookbook. So here is the cookbook that I'm going to be using. It is the absolute best dump dinners cookbook. There is so many amazing recipes in this cookbook. So there will be a playlist link down below. So make sure you check it out so you can see everybody that has joined in for the last cookbook collab. I will have some of the other playlists linked down below for you guys. So that way, in case you're new here and you're just now finding this, you can see some of the other ones that we have posted over the past year. Um, so I'm going to be sharing two recipes with you guys today. And I had talked about how I love this cookbook because it uses convenience foods like already cooked. Um, and so... One of the things I really like to keep in my freezer is already cooked proteins, regardless if I'm buying it in store as is already cooked and packaged, um, like the, say, like the Tyson grilled chicken or the John Souls Foods chicken and beef. I love keeping those in my freezer. But you can also, you know, meal prep and go ahead and cook you some raw chicken in bulk in the crock pot and have that shredded and ready to go in your freezer. Um, you can even do that with ground beef. You can go ahead and cook up whatever proteins that your family uses often, um, add a, like basic seasonings, and then you already have it ready to go in your freezer or even on your shelf if you're a canner, you know, you can have all kinds of different shelf stable proteins to be able to throw together some quick and easy meals and get dinner on the table just a little bit faster. First up is French onion meatballs. I turned mine into subs and these were so good. All you need is some fully cooked frozen meatballs. I use the Kroger brand Homestyle. We've really been liking those and I love keeping those on hand. In my store, I catch them on sale for about $3.99 a bag and that's when I buy one or two. You also need some French onion soup. It did only call for one can, but after I added everything into the crock pot, I thought that it wasn't enough, so I did end up adding a second can and that made it perfect. And then, of course, your onion. Just use as little or as much as you want. I went by the recipe, and next time I do this, I will probably double the amount of onion. So you just use your judgment and add as much as you want. But you literally just dump everything in the crock pot, put the lid on it, let it cook on low for about six hours or high for about four. Now, if you are not a fan of frozen meatballs, I do have a homemade version of this. So I will have that video and recipe link down below for you guys. But doing it this way was so good and it was so easy. All I had to do was dump everything in and dinner was done. Now, yes, I did do an extra step and I had some leftover hot dog buns and I turned mine into subs. But you can easily serve this over mashed potatoes with another side dish or rice or you can, you know, you don't even have to bake the subs. You could just, you know, open the sub buns, put your meatballs in, top it with cheese and serve it that way. But doing it this way, baking them in the oven, letting that cheese get nice and bubbly was delicious. Now I'm just going to repeat that for the rest of the buns. And then we are going to pop this in a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. The meatballs are cooked, so you are just melting that cheese and getting the buns toasty. Here is what they look like when they're all done. These were so good. We will definitely be making these again. I just served them with some tater tots and some of that French onion au jus on the side to dip the subs in. These were so, so good, you guys. This was a great way to use up those frozen meatballs you might have in your freezer. Next up is chicken alfredo ravioli. This was so good as well. And I loved that I had everything on hand. This is all ingredients that I keep in my pantry, my fridge, and freezers. So I was able just to throw this together based off this recipe. 
I've got some cheese. I've got some seasoned rotisserie chicken, which I did end up getting a second bag out because I realized after opening it up and cutting it up that it wasn't going to be enough. You also need some Alfredo sauce, and then I chose to do spinach. The recipe did call for mushrooms, but that's one of the joys of it being your kitchen, your rules. You know what your family likes and what they will eat, um, and so it's okay to change out certain things. Now, yes, my family likes mushrooms, but I really needed to use up that spinach. In a grease 9 by 13 bacon dish, we're going to go ahead and get everything layered up just like you would a traditional lasagna or ravioli bake. We normally really like the Lazy Man lasagna, um, and so I was excited to give this one a try. I have made a homemade like chicken alfredo lasagna before, I believe, or maybe it was stuffed shells, and it, that's, that stuff takes a lot of time. And sometimes we don't have that kind of time. We just really need to get dinner done. And so putting this together took maybe 10 minutes. And then I just popped it in the oven at 350 and dinner was done. So I've got a little bit of that sauce down just so the noodles don't burn. And then we're going to do a layer of the noodles, a layer of the Alfredo. We are going to do some chicken. And then I will put some spinach on and then cheese. And then we will just repeat that until all of the ingredients are gone. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, this recipe in this cookbook was actually a like one pot skillet meal, but I knew that it would honestly take me less time to layer it into a casserole and put it in the oven. That way I didn't have to stand over the stove to cook this. So that's why y'all are seeing it as a lasagna versus if you do have the cookbook and you're like, well, that's not how it is. So I changed it up, but it's okay because it was still a dump dinner because I dumped everything in a casserole, put it in the oven at 350 and baked it for 30 minutes and it was so good. Everybody has different lifestyles. Some people are super busy and don't have time to cook. Some people don't enjoy cooking homemade and from scratch and so that's one of the things that I enjoy about my own channel is that I share from one end to the other. I might share a video like this with you guys that's convenience foods um, to help you guys out. But then the next day, I might share from scratch cooking, making homemade breads and stews and, you know, soups and like hearty homemade recipes because I want to have options for everybody. And this is how we eat. This is 100% how we eat. I share real life with you guys and you know that. And I say it all the time. It doesn't have to be fancy just as long as your family is fed. If cooking homemade from scratch is not an option for you, it is totally okay. You can easily throw these dishes like this together and still have some delicious meals. Even if you hate cooking, cooking with convenience foods, throwing things together that you might have in your house is a really good option for the people that hate cooking, especially if you still have your family to feed. These two recipes in today's video were super easy to put together, delicious, and even budget friendly. Using shortcut ingredients and already pre-cooked meat to help you get dinner on the table just a little bit faster is totally okay with me. Don't forget that today's video is a collaboration. I will have the playlist linked down below. Make sure you go over and give the fellow YouTubers some love, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.